everybody, it's me, Matt Hawes of The Happy Show, and I'm here today with another edition of Hawes' Vlogs. <laughs> yeah, right now I'm out in the front of the shop because there's not a lot of business today. You see, here in the state of Indiana, especially the lower half here in Evansville, Indiana, we had a huge snow and ice storm that started on, it was on Tuesday night, it actually started coming down with freezing rain and sleet and all that nasty stuff. And uh, we got caught up in that ice storm, and then it became snow overnight and had several inches. I don't even know how many inches. I haven't even cared. No, but uh, it's because of the combination, we've actually had uh, more power outages than ever before, it seems. Uh, you know, it's, it's, we had like this huge snow back in 2004, and we've had uh, a whole bunch of other kind of weathers, you know, that's hit this place. But uh, this one seems to have taken out a lot of places, and it's not to me that there's more snow than ever before, because I think we had worse as far as actual amount of snow in 2004, but the combination of ice and sleet and everything, uh, the, just the right combination has downed a lot of the power lines, because there's a lot of branches and trees and such across the city that got frozen and couldn't, I guess, withhold, or withstand that weight of the ice and then they broke off and they downed some power lines and there's a lot of people I think they said 40,000 people without power and electricity in fact uh, people in my own family uh, most of my family I, I got lucky even at my uh, even at the point in my house I'm not used to getting lucky when it comes to these situations there but the electricity is still there it blinked for a little bit on Tuesday night uh, but then everything was fine and then so far I still have my electricity there, and here at the shop, uh, there was no problems. But my my uh, my mother and my brothers, uh, they had their electricity taken from them because of this, and so it's been kind of a mess. And uh, so, so anyway, yeah, I, that's that's what's been happening here in Evansville, Indiana. A lot of people without electricity, and uh, you know, having to move. They said the hotels were all booked. Everybody was you know, at the hotels. All the generators are sold out all over. Uh, yeah, it's it's been a pretty mess, pretty big mess here. And uh, yesterday it was a normal, normally one of my busier days because on Wednesdays here at the comic shop, listen to that traffic. Here at the comic shop, Wednesdays is normally the day we get our new product in, and there's a lot of people who come by and check out check out the new product, but not yesterday because everybody was snowed in or trying to find a warm place to stay, and so uh, it was a very very light day and today may be as well because they're still so busy putting together electricity and stuff the roads are easier to, to drive on I suppose I look out there and I see that the major roads I should explain of course the major roads are seem to be and I'm right by one of the uh, major roads here in town and they've, they've cleared it pretty well but uh, a lot of those side streets are horrible, and of course you got to deal with uh, fallen branches everywhere and power down power lines, and it's just been a mess here. Uh, like I said, luckily I'm okay, and and I actually have a house guest because my mother's staying with me during this whole period, so that that's cool. And uh, you know my my other brothers, uh, my one brother's uh, his his power went out on uh, well on his street, but only on one half of the street originally and his side was actually untouched but by the middle of the day yesterday I guess another power line went down because maybe a branch while the ice is melting you know caused another branch to fall off or something anyway he lost power and then they got back up by the evening uh, so it's it's been affecting most of the city in one way or another well I guess all of the city in one way or another but uh, again I'm, I'm just glad that right now that I'm okay as far as the the electricity and such, but I'm glad I was able to offer a place for, for my mother, and I hope the other people are safe and sound here in this uh, city and elsewhere, because elsewhere in the country, I know people are under the grips of the winter storms, and uh, I understand there's a lot of winter storms elsewhere. Uh, it's, it's funny because I saw Barack Obama talking on the news about them closing the school where his daughters were going because of the storm. I guess it was in Washington there, and uh, He's talking about how in Chicago the schools never closed despite the thing. And uh, that's true that here we're not as, you know, like, a, you know, here in Evansville, just like I'm sure over there in Washington, we're not, they're not as equipped to deal with the stuff. Chicago, of course, being, you know, the, the city that it is and being uh, up north like that with a lot of wintry weather. 
they're uh, they're going to go ahead and I guess have the resources and more people out there doing this. So so it is more crippling to a city of this, especially here, this size. I mean, we're not a small town, but we're not we're not by any means Chicago, and so uh, it's just interesting just to see how how the, much this has affected the city uh, because again it's more than I remember the the last storm in 2004 anyway I'm just rambling on here let's let's let you look at some of the snow out there we the comics unlimited that's my shop in Evansville Indiana and see there's out there you can see this there's the one lane or or one side of the three lanes I guess but one side of Diamond Avenue Woo! Oh, excuse me I tripping over a cord here and there's on the other side of the street and people crossing Stringtown that's Stringtown there that those people are crossing and that's the gas station over there the Bustler's gas station there's a Japanese restaurant mmm There's North High School, and there's a person walking by my door, but he doesn't want to buy comics. Boo! Boo on you! You and your mustache. But yeah, this is uh, this is what it looks like here. It looks a lot worse. Whereas, oh look, and this year they actually remember to put the snow right over there by the dumpsters instead of in front of my shop. That's right. Back in 2004. Whenever we had the huge snow, uh, it was a lot more snow than this. Like I said, this this is worse, I guess, because of the ice and all. But that was there was a lot of snow. A lot. Anyway, they they moved the people for my gas the gas station over there. They paid for a, they paid for a guy to shovel the snow, you know, of course, and and clear their lot. And uh, they're, they're, I, I rent from these people, and somehow they forgot my shop was here and put a huge mountain of snow in front of my shop. Ah! Okay, what you're seeing here is the Christmas gift that was left for me last night. Last night was Christmas, 2004. And this is the Christmas gift the plowman gave to me last night. As you can see, uh, they decided, even after I took the effort to plow some of this myself with a shovel, they decided to shove all this crap right in front of my door. Ho, ho, ho. See this big mound, and there's blocking my entry, which by the way I had carved out. So this is really nice of them. Look, I got my own little barricade. But despite the best efforts of the plowman, he won't keep me from trying to get customers today. Okay, and this is a sign I made to let people know I'm open. <laughs> See? Come here. Here, Joe, stand next to the pile so we can get high till the height. It's a 15 foot pile of snow, man. It's larger than I thought. <laughs> I did. <laughs> ho ho ho. It's just rude of them to do that. Ho ho Joe. <laughs> ho ho ho. That's ridiculous. That's <laughs> you ridiculous. love that ice storm? Oh my god. You didn't see it before we cleared the path. That's ridiculous. How'd you even get I, in? Uh, I climbed over the hill. There was little hills in addition to the mountain. Yeah, but <laughs> that was ridiculous. That is my video vlog for today, and I hope you have a good one. Yay! <laughs>